November 1997 and the queue arm of the century jumps in its lead out groove. The old Dutch called it slacked man, slaughterman. You wouldn't send a dog out on a night like this. A hybrid job appeared straightforward. One more metropolitan collapsar faced with dreamtime relegation. The whole postal district bleaching out, charisma challenged. One more municipal flat line seeking voodoo CPR. It's common nowadays. The calendar gets ready to ejaculate a string of zeros and our map is bed soiled in the premature congratulation. Brute thermodynamics kicks in and the meaning bleeds away into hard vacuum. All the hot spots cool down, mammal light smearing on the surveillance camera. This is where we come in. Think of us as Rosicrucian heating engineers. We check the pressure in the song lines, lag etheric channels and rewire the glamour. Cowboy occultism. Cash in hand, thanks Huey. First you diagnose the area in question, read the street plans, accidental creases and decode the orbit maps left there by coffee cups, then go to work. Slap up a wall of ectoplasm, standard moon and serpent contract, tables tilted while you wait, manifestations are us. Money for old brimstone. Obviously, this was before we'd seen the patient. Ivory wasn't at death's door, it was halfway down death's passage hanging up its coat. An anecdote free zone. No serial murderers, no ghosts. It didn't even merit bold type in the A to Z. You might as well be on the moon. Highbury was amnesiac, whole sections of its past were blank, a geriatric out on day release and lost somewhere on the Victoria line, only identifiable by dental records, Iron Age crusts, a Saxon bone return. Originally a Roman summer garrison, the area gets a walk on in the Doomsday Book as Tolentone, the higher town. The 1600s find the site of one of London's designated pleasure hills, a place where Samuel Pepys could blow tobacco snots upon the cobbles. Come the 19th century's end, the carnival is shut down, following complaints from neighbours. One of London's sexual organs is made flaccid, all the tantric energy moves on, leaves an exhausted absence in its wake, a drained erotic void safe for the middle class. By 1892, the area is a byword for monotony, a steampunk news dump. George and Whedon Grossmith set the diary of a nobody within the area, with their protagonist Charles Pooter settled comfortably at Brickfield Terrace, Holloway, within the suburbs of oblivion. To make things worse, the whole place is alive with Germans. Writing in 1915, Thomas Burke sets up as an early Eurosceptic, quote, the Highbury region certainly has everything Germanically oppressive. Mist, large women, lager, labour burst, a moral atmosphere of the week before last, and the physical sensation of an undigested sausage. Unquote. Highbury does not come recommended. We'll take hard-boiled psychogeography to penetrate. Best start with the foundations. Subterranean gargling in the lower reaches of imagination. When we excavate the place, we excavate ourselves. The inside is the outside. These steam-flooded tunnels rising up about us. Lady, that's my story.